I'm attempting to fix my camera angle issue. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm warning y'all in advance. I'm on some stuff. <laughs> um, to, to help me fight this virus, I've got uh, one of the medications I was put on is a prescription narcotic cough syrup. Um, so it's that stuff and, and, and that stuff will get you messed up. So anyway, um, what I want to do today is I want to go ahead and do a kit up video and I want to kit up my Chuck Pinson bluebird song because I want to have it ready to go because in March is the Chuck Along hashtag Chuck Along. Um, so if you've got a Chuck Pinson painting and you want to join in on the fun, come on and join us. So it's not March yet. Today's only uh, February 28th, but I want to be prepared. Uh, and you guys aren't seeing anything. I know. You know what? It's okay. It's all right. Let me get my drills out. There we go. Okay. Put my canvas back in the box. I wasn't sure how the video was going to, to work, so I even put on a bra, but now I could, I realized I could have left the bra off. But anyway. All right. This will be my first time kitting up a Diamond Art Club using the sticker. So, brand new experience for me as far as that goes. Um, my loving hubby went out this morning and picked me up two more of the Harbor Freight. Now, there are 50 colors in this painting, but of the actual little storage boxes, I'm only going to have 48 so, I'm going to have two colors that I guess I'm just going to put in little baggies or something. Um, and I'll just use the little baggies that came in the toolkit with the painting. So, uh, that seems to be like a good plan. Don't you think? You guys really aren't seeing anything. Um, and see, now I can't see what you're seeing. Hold on. Um, see, I want y'all to... Okay, now you're seeing me and I want you to really see me. I could turn this around so you can... You know what? I'm going to cut that apart. Woo! I'm having some moments, people. Having some moments. Thank you for your patience. It's, it's wonderful when you have something that the doctors just call a virus. <laughs> like, they don't even know what this thing is. So, it's good times. Alright, let's just cut this open. And I have been thinking a while back that I wanted to get some more of these containers anyway. So, this is just kind of perfect, I think. <clears throat> so, if you have a chunk pin... Chunk. Oh, are you serious? If you have a chuck pinson and you're going to work along with this DP along, um... Which image do you have that you're that you're working on? And see this one, um, I had said in a prior video, I think, that I didn't want to have more than two whips going at one time, but it's a timing issue with this, and I really want to take part um, and, and feel like I'm you know, being a part of the community and interacting with people, right? So, um, I'm actually going to have three whips going at once. One of them is still Cat Bat. I still haven't finished it, but I haven't, um, I haven't worked on it in over a week just because, you know, I'm, I've not been feeling good. But, um, it's almost the end of February when, and I was trying to have it done by then. But anyway, life happens. 
So I didn't meet that goal, but that's okay. Um, but the chuck along starts um, March 1st. So that's next week. <laughs> um, so I need to go ahead and get to work on this one. But then also I will be working on my diamond painting that's from my collaboration that's coming up in April. Um, so yeah, I just got a lot of, a lot of things moving all at once. Now, now that I'm cutting this, I'm wondering if I should have started peeling off the back first. Did I just make a rookie mistake? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'll figure it out one way or another. Oh, goodness. Just sitting up, man, my muscles just feel so sore. And, you know, that's one thing that I, it didn't dawn on me. When I went to my regular doctor this past Monday, they tested me for the flu, and they said it came back negative. But when I talked to the doctor at the urgent care place yesterday, she, I asked her, and she was like, um, yeah, those tests can give you a false negative. And I was like, oh, great. So I could very well have the flu and just been misdiagnosed. But she said it didn't matter, really, at this point, because I, I'm too far into it to get Tamiflu to take for it. So, yay. All right, I'm going to open up my drills now. Okay, what's the best way to do this? Well, this one here is loose. So I guess let me do this one first. It is DMC 779. But you know what? They're not... What's the best way to do this, you guys? Should I go in order of the list and, and then just dig them out of the stack? That might be the best thing to do. I didn't think this through very well. Boy, this is going to be a really noisy video. If that's what I got to do. Well, if that's what I got to do, that's what I got to do. <clears throat> okay, so. Let's see, number 783. I don't have any. Oh, there it is right there. Number 783. Okay. I was going to say, I don't have any idea what kind of color 783 is. But it's a... It's a golden yellow color. Okay. And 783 is, um, it's at the bottom of my strip here. See, it's my, my bottom one. So I was going to work from the bottom to the top. <clears throat> that way I don't have a whole bunch of loose little number stickers flying around here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, you know, I'm trying to think. I really don't have anything to talk about. I guess I should have. My, my, my brain is just like foggy. <laughs> I guess that's, that's one reason. I mean, she, the doctor told me, she's like, you don't need to do anything for three straight days. You need to just sit on your ass, basically. And at first, I was like, okay, yes, awesome. But then I was like, oh, wait, <laughs> that's actually pretty inconvenient. But yeah, so it's like sit, sitting here, just the muscles in my back get really sore because I'm not like leaning back. But, whew, okay, suck it up, girl, suck it up. Now, this is going to be the interesting part. I wonder if I should turn on that overhead light. See, I've got fingernails, but, oh, oh, <gasps> there it goes. Ta-da! All right. Now, is this going to, is this sticker going to stay on here good? Or am I running a risk of it coming off? Should I tape over it? Maybe I should put tape over it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Let me go um let me go grab some tape. Hold on. 
Oh god. Oh. Oh god. Uh, not, not enough room for me to squeeze out of there. Okay, I've got a roll of scotch super hold tape, so we'll try that. <clears throat> that should work, I think. Oh, oh my goodness. Ow. Okay. Mm. So, <sighs> Edward is on his way now to get Kendall from school. And then take her to her mom's. And actually, he was supposed to work tomorrow. But he's not going to. He's going to stay home with me and make sure I'm okay. Just in case I need anything. Um, especially with me taking this cough syrup. I don't need to drive. Okay, 779... Oh, <laughs> you idiot. That's the one you had at the very beginning. Okay. Um, so, we're going to take Uno to the vet and get his nails cut in the morning. And then I suppose after that, we'll do grocery shopping. Uh, Kendall has requested those, um, uh, those buffalo chicken dip taquito things that we did a couple weeks ago. She's requested those for a meal next week, so we're going to have that, and I think we're also going to try one of Becky's What's in the Pot videos, the, um, Sausage and julienne potatoes. Um, I don't know if that was her or Johnny's recipe. I think it was Johnny's. Okay, now see this one I'm having trouble getting up. Um, but I've just never seen those boxed julienne potatoes around here. So I might have trouble finding them. But, um, we'll see. Um, I'm guessing that they're going to be near the boxes of the scallop potatoes and stuff. So, that's where I'm going to look and hopefully we're going to find them there. 775. There it is right there. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. like a seafoam green. Hang on, you'll see in just a second. Let me try to make a couple of small strips. Uh, 775, this beautiful seafoam green-ish color. It's not quite, it's not a baby boy blue. Um, it's a little, got a little more green to it than in blue, I think. Or maybe, maybe I'm hallucinating things. Who knows? It wouldn't surprise me at this point. Blood pressure's through the roof, even though I'm on my medication. Having trouble breathing. Passing out. Hallucinations uh, seems like they're going to fit right in. So, yay. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. So, we've got a really good action plan for the training at work for the ladies that I'm going to be helping to train. Because whereas before it was just kind of all over the place, it, was, it just wasn't structured really. Um, to where now we've got like an action plan and I think it's really going to work well. Um, I'm excited about it because I really think that these these ladies can do the 
they can do the job, you know. Um, but part of it that's coming into play, I think, is age. Because some of them are, uh, well, you know what? No, they're not even really all that much younger than me now that I think about it. Well, one of them is actually, excuse me. One of them just turned 22. But, um, the other ones, uh, I'm guessing maybe they're maybe five to eight years younger than I am. But, um, I know everything, it doesn't have to do with the actual age. It has a lot to do with maturity level. But, if this is someone's first office setting job, you know, that's a big adjustment. But, um... I've not done a whole lot of one-on-one -on -one work with each of them, but what I have done with them so far, I really, I really like them. Um, but you know, when you've got that many people working in an office and you have that many different personalities, there's going to be some, some adjustments to make, you know, on a lot of fronts. Um, but I really am enjoying getting to know them and seeing their fun sides come out. You know, I have to be careful because I have to remember this is an office. This is a business. You know, we can't just be tearing things up and having a good old time. We got to be working, you know. <laughs> but, um, I think for me there is a fine line between Um, what am I trying to say? Like, you don't want where you work to just be so super strict that you have, like, no enjoyment in the work and you, you know, you're dreading it and all kinds of things. But on the other hand, you know, you got to remember that it's a place of business and you've got a job to do and you better make sure your job's getting done. Um, one item that's a hot topic is, um, what did they call them? They referred to them as, maybe they, uh, maybe they called it something like a decompressor or something like that. But basically, it's like if you want to have earbuds in and listen to music or listen to a podcast or even before I would turn on um whipping chats to listen to um but it became a problem when there were some people that were putting on like movies and TV shows and here I'll show you like here's our phone like instead of having their phone turned face down on the desk. They had their phones face up, listening and appearing to watch the movie or TV show while they were on the clock, which you have to admit, um, that's going to decrease your production as an employee. Um, if you're busy watching a telephone screen... You're not looking at your computer screen to take note of what you're supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? And now that I've got this lip pulled up, I'm going to see if I can help myself by trimming off this edge to be able to peel back the sticker better. That would have been the smart move from the get-go, I think. Why didn't y'all tell me? I told y'all this is my first time doing this. Jeez. You could have given me some pointers. <laughs> Just kidding. I know y'all can't talk to me. Okay. So anyway, um, yeah, that's become a, a big problem because we've had multiple emails sent out about that saying basically quit doing this or you're going to get in trouble, you know, or quit doing this. Or you're going to make it so that nobody can listen to earbuds, period. Which that would really suck because before I started training and I was just sitting at my desk all day, um, I really got a lot accomplished.
by getting situated, plugging in my headphones, and I would just get in a zone and knock stuff out. Um, my job is basically data entry. So all I got to do is sit there and look at a computer monitor and punch in numbers. So it's I can easily listen to something and it'll help zone me into my task and I can get stuff done. Um, okay, $6.99 is right here. So with one of my trainees, I I really, really like her. She um, is coming from a background of this similar type of work. She's familiar with the accounting processes. She's familiar with the materials that we're having to look at. Um, it's just a matter of her really learning <clears throat> our computer programs. But I I had to mention to her a couple of times and kind of warn her, you know, because um, she would have a, a mobile game playing on her phone. Actually, I think she has two phones. But um, she would have a mobile game playing. Now, she'd still be sitting there working, but the game would be playing and it'd be right in front of her face. And she'd still be able to hit buttons on there whenever she needed to and everything. And I don't have any room to talk because I used to really enjoy a, a mobile game before. And, um, you know, I got out of it, but I understand how fun they can be. Um, but then again, you know, you're, you're at work. We need to be focusing on work. And plus, not only that, I mean, you're still a temp. You're still a, a trainee. You're not even... You know, your position here isn't set in stone yet, you know, so it's like we don't want to risk you getting hired on full time because of a mobile game or because of a movie or because of taking too many breaks, which is a problem for some people or, you know, for any of those type of things like that. And I'm just, I'm trying to understand and remember back when I was younger and first started working at this company which that was what, what I say, 14, about 14 years ago. So I was a, in a whole different headspace back then. Um, and I'm just trying to keep in mind that for some people, this just might be their first job in this type of atmosphere where there is a certain level of professionalism expected, right? And so as a trainer... I'm trying to find my way to politely give some, you know, correction. And um, sometimes when you try to correct people, you know, they can meet your correcting them with appreciation for you helping them out. Or they can resent you correcting them and just kind of take a stance of well you're not my boss you don't know me you don't have any place to be talking to me like that or telling me what to do and that kind of thing not and I'm not saying I've, I've experienced that because I haven't but I can understand how it can happen so I'm trying to think of how maybe I would have fit into an office environment like back in the was it maybe the 50s or the 60s? When did Mad Men take place? Was it the 60s? You know that show, um, Mad Men, that aired on AMC? It was about, um, advertising firm on Madison Avenue. And there were, you know, the, the main, main employees for the company were men. But there were also women that worked in the office, but they were like the secretaries. <laughs> And it showed, you know, housewives and stuff, too. But, um, so I'm trying to think, well, how would I have fit in during that era? You know, would I have liked it or would I have not? And I, I don't know the answer to that because I think it would have been fun to live back then. But I'm not so sure that I would have wanted to need to wear a dress to the office every day like was kind of 
expected, I guess, back then. I'm not sure if that's the right word. But it just seems like a lot of women were wearing, you know, the really, really pretty, but their dresses. And I, I wouldn't want to wear a dress every day. I like to be comfortable. You know, I like to wear a loose baggy shirt and some leggings or, you know, comfortable pants or something. What am I looking for? Four ninety eight is right here. Um, so that's a, that's a question I'd like to know from everyone. If you could pick any era to live in, what, what would, what would be your era? What, what is your desired time in the world that you would want to live in? For me, I think the sixties would be good. Um, I'm not sure about the seventies. Um, but I was born in 1980, um, so while I lived through the 80s, I don't really remember that much because <clears throat> I was so young, you know, I wasn't really paying attention to what was happening in the world, you know, I knew what my home life was like, but that's about it, um, and like living today is great and all, but I just kind of wonder what it would have been like. If I could be an adult in another century. Um, so, yeah, I'm just curious what everyone would pick. Now, see, Edward says that he would like to go back to, like, the 1800s. <laughs> like, the frontier days, like, Little House on the Prairie, Laura Ingalls Wilder and stuff. And I told him he's crazy. I was like, ain't no way I could live back then. I need my air conditioning. <laughs> Ain't no way. I would be so cranky and moody. Oh, my goodness. I'd be, like, miserable all the time. All right, 436. Where are you? There you are. I think I said this before, but how come the color 420 isn't green? You talk to those DMC people. Because it just seems like it would be green. Oh, goodness. So, what else can I talk about? I know I have like a million thoughts, but it's like the things that are most prevalent on my mind right now I can't talk about yet. We've got one big family thing coming up soon that I can't talk about yet. And then... I've got my collab coming up, and I can't talk about it yet. Other than just to let everyone know that I really am super excited about it. <sighs> what else? What else? Is anybody else getting tired of the political stuff? I am. I thought that when we got rid of our satellite, <laughs> that that would eliminate most if not all of the political ads but no mm -mm. every time there is a commercial or, or an ad break on hulu it's a political ad on facebook every t where i look it's a political ad or political post or something and i just keep on scrolling but then even on youtube the commercials on some or the ads on some videos they're political ads now, I'm sure that that probably bothers a lot of people, and I'm sure some creators that have ads on their channel are possibly hearing some backlash from people like, why you got political ads? You know, but I'm thinking that when you become monetized, you really, I'm guessing that you really can't pick what ads run on your channel. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but in my mind, it makes sense. I don't know. I'm I'm so far away from that ever happening, which I'm I'm cool with. But it's like I don't even need to be concerned about it. <laughs> but I'm just guessing that's how that works. I don't know. But yeah, that's I hate every time there's an election. 
because I just hate hearing about it. And it's, well, y'all know that I don't, I don't really like, I don't really like the, the verbal bashing and the negative talking and the, you know, the lies and the rumors and ugh. And I, I honestly, I think I've, I know one, what I would call honest person that is kind of involved in politics. Um, she's one of our friends. She helped Edward and I with our wedding. Um, she is an attorney here where we live. And, um... I don't know if it was, I think it was last year, actually, in our local elections. She was, um, she was running for some office, um, but you know what? I can't even think off the top of my head what office position it was. Um, and, I, th I see, I don't know if we would have even been able to give her a vote, because... Okay, maybe somebody can answer this question for me. When you have people running for different offices that are broken down by district, um, can you vote for a district that's not the district you live in? Because that was the whole thing. We, we don't live in the district that she was running for, so that's why we were figuring we couldn't even vote for her. Um... So, I, I don't know the answer to that question. I guess I should have asked her. But, during that time, there was a whole lot going on. And she was super, super busy. But, anyways. Um, I think Edward and I... Well, actually, I don't even know if Edward does. But, I, I've only voted when it's been a presidential election year. I haven't done any of the other local things. But, um, if I could have voted for her, I would have. Um... We are from differing political parties, but I'll be honest with you, I don't understand the political parties. I don't know what's happened with that history. All I know is just some of the things that I've seen I don't care for. It looks like one of them is an extremely conservative type thing and um I'm conservative but I'm not to the extreme but it's like I, I'm, I'm a conservative person but I think pot should be legalized <laughs> um so if that gives you any indication of how my brain works but um so, yes, I, I guess I'm registered as a Republican. Um, friend is a Democrat, and she was actually a president or something of our local Democratic Party or something. I don't know. But um, during the campaign and everything, and um, something came up. Where someone asked her a question. I can't remember what it was. But she answered it honestly. Which is why I like her. Her answer was basically to the effect of. I'm registered you know, as a Democrat. And I am the president of our you know, local Democratic party. Whatever. But... When it comes to selecting either, you know, if, I, if I'm down to a choice of having to choose between, you know, someone that's a Republican or someone that's a Democrat, I'm going to choose the better of the two candidates. I'm not going to vote strictly by the party that they are affiliated with. So, she's saying that if she had to pick between two people in, in a vote or something, she's not going to do just a straight Democratic vote because... She's a Democrat and they're a Democrat. She's going to give her vote to whoever she thinks is best for the job. Well, a lot of people did not like that in the Democratic Party here. 
and gave her a lot of grief and backlash over her over her truth. That was her truth. And that's why I respect her. Because she spoke her truth about it. But um, anyway, they, they were so awful and everything. She ended up resigning her position as the president of the... I keep wanting to say club. I don't... It's not a club, but you know what I'm saying. Whatever that thing is. She resigned. Um, which... It, that was painful for her because she really did enjoy what she did. But after all that happened and she saw some of those people's true colors, um, you know, she expressed how she was hurt and disappointed, um, in a post that she made. So, anyway, that, that's what I just, like I said, I don't understand the different political parties. Um, all I know is that when people are trying to bully someone into their opinion and their vote on because of a political party title, instead of looking at, you know, what the person's character is made out of, that bothers me. I don't like that. So, anyway, that concludes political talk. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm ready for the, all that nonsense to be done and over with and out of my life for another, what, probably about three years. Because they started all like a, a year, with a year left to go, don't they? Isn't it kind of crazy like that? Um, can't find my color. What color is 356? Where is it? Oh, oh, there it is. On the very end. <laughs> the last one I looked at. <sighs> one thing I, I would like to brush up on is I know not every country has the same political type system um that's one thing I need to find out because I'm really confused England has a queen but she doesn't like make the laws what's what does parliament do is parliament like the actual government <laughs> how does that work but the queen owns, like, all those countries. Okay, I'm joking, I'm joking. The monarchy does, blah, whatever. Um, but, yeah, like, that's interesting to me. Edward could tell me, I'm sure, he loves history and stuff like that. I'm surprised. I mean, well, no, I'm not really surprised. I can't remember that from school. That was a long time ago, after all. Oh, man. My nose is starting to run. I'm sorry about that. Three fifty-five. We're cruising right along. We're almost done with our first our first box. Sweet. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm yawn. So yeah, tomorrow we're taking Udo. And we gotta get groceries. Edward is actually not working tomorrow. I think I said that already, so I'm sorry. <laughs> it's that cough syrup. When Edward brought that home to me. Oh, I got an inhaler too. Fantastic. Um, but when he brought that home and lo and I looked at it and I saw it said hydrocodone, I said, oh boy. <laughs> they're not playing around they gave me the good stuff so breathing is important they did all kinds of tests on me and stuff I never in my wildest dreams thought I was going to walk out of there spending $380 then my medicine today was $35 Whew. 
Ridiculous. That's who I'd vote for. Who, who can get health care under control? <sighs> that's just, that's just crazy. I think next year we're going to have to look at the doing a different type of coverage with our insurance because we got such a high deductible now. Everything is just, we're having to pay 100% for everything until we meet, what is it, like $2,500 or something ridiculous? So I'm hoping next year when we have our insurance enrollment, there'll be an option that's a little bit more manageable. But of course, as soon as we get back on the ball and start throwing chunks of money at our debt again, we'll be a lot more comfortable. We'll be all right. Oh, goodness. I'll get really sleepy. I'm sorry. And now I'm starting to sweat. Which makes me think the fever is starting to crank up. See, I'm going from hot to cold to hot to cold. It's ridiculous. Talk about... I, I just feel like my body is just doesn't know what to do. It's just going bonkers. 3.33. Man, I, I really hope I'm, I can go back... Well... The doctor said to go. I could go back to work on Monday, so I really hope I'm feeling well enough to go back on Monday. One thing that we had talked about and wondered is if maybe I'm pushing myself too hard at work. Um, and I guess that's a possibility. Is instead of me just sitting at a desk all day, I am doing a lot of running back and forth. And because there are so many people that have questions and need help throughout the day, um, it's very, um, high impact isn't the word, what's the word I'm looking for, high frequency maybe, where it's like, you just like got one right after the other, after the other, after the other, and it's constantly like back and forth and back and forth. And I think I was trying to go too fast, like actually walk too fast in between. Because I was having to walk from one room, one end of the office, all the way to the other end of the office. And kind of back and forth for a little bit and like all over in the middle. And because so many people were needing help and everything, I felt a sense of urgency so, it's like, I'm wondering, was I just, like, walking too fast to try to get to them? Which, I guess, that's a possibility. And that would kind of explain why I was having shortness of breath. So, when I do go back, I need to try to just slow it down a little bit. Um, they hooked me up to some contraption that reads your, your pulse and your oxygen levels. It's that little thing they clip on your finger. They put one of those on me and just had me do just some walking there in the office. Like I walked from the exam room to the x-ray room, had chest x-rays done. My lungs look great, she said. Um... And then from the x-ray room back to the exam room. And my levels were fine. But I wasn't walking at a very fast pace either. I was really kind of taking like a little leisurely stroll. So that's what's kind of leading us to think that, well, maybe I don't need to try to walk so fast. Maybe I just need to slow it down just a little bit. So maybe that'll help. And until my body can work itself out, get rid of the virus, and adjust to being on the blood pressure medications, that would be probably something that's going to help. 
you know, me taking my, taking, taking a little bit more time and not rushing so terribly much. Oh, man. This is probably the most boring conversation in the world. Oh, there it is, 321. But, you know, if I haven't been going anywhere, except for that one eventful day yesterday, I've not really been watching anything except for a little bit of YouTube, a little bit of, um, a little bit of Golden Girls, a little bit of Real Housewives of Atlanta, um, an old, an old season, not anything that's been current. Um, that is one of my guilty pleasures. I do enjoy that show. But, um, I'm not really, I'm not doing anything. So I guess I really just don't have much to say. And it's hard when your, when your brain just doesn't, um, doesn't want to quite work correctly. Uh, Edward's been doing an excellent job of taking care of me. When he came to pick me up from work yesterday, because... I didn't need to be driving. Um, bless his heart, he actually he he came into the office to to get me from my desk. I was just gonna walk out there to him, but he was he was worried. I didn't I didn't you know I didn't want to scare him. I didn't want to you know I didn't want to scare anybody. You know he didn't mean to do all that. But couldn't exactly be helped. It wasn't fun. So yeah, I'm starting to um. To feel that little bit of a weird feeling right now, actually, that I felt yesterday. Um, getting a little, a little lightheaded. Um, face is starting to sweat again. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video and go, go lay down under the fan, maybe. Um, get some ice chips, cool down. Maybe, maybe actually talking is like affecting me. Jeez, Louise, this is, this sucks. <laughs> so anyway, if you, if you made it through this to this point, I appreciate you. And I hope you're having a better day and feeling better than I am. And, um, hope I'll be, you know, keep, keep getting on the mend and get back to normal real soon. And... Let me know if you're going to join in on the Chuck Along or if you're going to be doing the Easter DP Along um, and all that fun stuff. Oh, and let me know what, um, what, what era you think you would like to have lived in if you, if you did or didn't, if you want to do it again. Just let me know because I'm, I'm interested to find that out. All right, everybody. I will talk to you later. Take care, guys.